it's so applicable to have uh, one of three test blade facilities right here uh, at Clarkson in the middle of the North Country that's going to look at uh, and provide uh, certification for wind blades. It's only one of three operations in the United States. It's the only one in the Northeast, and uh, we're very proud uh, that, uh, that we're able to bring that facility uh, here to Clarkson. From a consumer point of view, how does a buyer know which turbine to buy? Well, this new test facility is designed to help answer that question because what it'll do, it'll offer manufacturers of small and medium-sized wind turbines a chance to quantify the strength and the rigidity and affect the quality of their wind blades. We're designed to do structural testing for wind turbine blades. Um, we do fatigue testing and static testing. Uh, static testing tests the load handling capability of the blades for wind loading. Uh, fatigue testing tests how a blade can handle cyclic loadings over its entire life cycle. So essentially a static test is to, de is to test what the maximums the blade can handle. Uh, for example, in a, wind, in a hurricane or a tornado or a high wind situation or a uh, mechanical failure like a brake failure. Uh, whereas fatigue testing is we're testing its normal everyday operations over 20 years. Uh, we can do 20 years of life cycle testing in 30 days. I'm really interested in seeing anybody who is designing, developing, or simply wants to certify uh, wind turbine blades for the commercial market. The uh, idea or the concept of the certification, once again, is to make sure that the product complies with the requirements that are, that are found in the standard. And this test facility is going to go a long way in allowing the certification agencies to, uh, to do their job. And particularly in this blade test facility, it's something that doesn't exist anywhere. Uh, there's no place like this in the Northeast. There's plenty of, uh, of wind systems around the country and around the world, but how do they operate in temperatures at 10, de 10 degrees or 20 degrees below zero uh, in the middle of a, a, a snowstorm? We're going to find out, and, and we have the capability of testing that and developing the models to see how that will happen uh, before we, we put them outside and, and see if they last the 25 years that they need to. The scientists and engineering that we find at, at schools like Clarkson allow that, that large base that's tapped into industry to start with ideas and creations and then bring those ideas to the industry in a way that's never been done before. Uh, we do graduate level research. Uh, we have associated facilities uh, here on campus uh, that can allow manufacturers to do development research on their own. We have a wind tunnel so that we can do scale, scale size wind tunnel testing. Um, we have a wind turbine test site out, on, out at uh, Potsdam Airport. So we actually have full-scale uh, wind turbines we do research on, and we've done research for manufacturers out at the, the wind turbine test site. We can do any kind of research. If you can dream it, we can find a way to do research on it.